we're playing some Peter's house today. So a little quick thing. I actually had originally started this channel uh, and I wanted to do more indie horror type gaming. Uh, but there's way too many other games that I want to play, so I ended up just doing everything. But I'm going to start trying to do a bit more indie horror like I wanted to originally, because I know there's a bunch of games I'd love to get my hands on. Uh, this being one of them, I want to try it out and share it with you guys. Before we get started, though, if you'd like to keep the daily uploads going, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment. They all help. All right, friends, let's start Peter's house. Steve, phone rings. Okay. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. He's got a huge grin. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great. I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you could need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. <laughs> His face seems like he'd have a voice like that. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Well, time to move some boxes. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one says it goes to the living room. This does not look like a living room. Nice brand. No? Okay. That looks like a kitchen and a bathroom and a regular room and outside. Uh, this might be the living room. How do I put it? Okay. Gotta keep moving boxes. Okay. And then let's grab this. This one says that I must go to the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Okay. La, 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 la. Okay, what's this? This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it? Is that blood on the knife? The Betrayal of a Friend, part one. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me, who couldn't comprehend the power that, what the, that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. But I knew I couldn't take any chances. 18th of February, 2023. The Betrayal Friend, part two. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to uh, sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumpling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. 18th of February, 2023. I'm just going to place this in the kitchen because it has a utensil. What's that? Hello? Uh, this one says it goes to the kitchen. Okay, here we go. Got to keep moving boxes. Okay. This one says it must go to the bathroom. This is the bedroom. There's a bathroom over here. Gotta keep moving boxes. That's my job. This one says it must go to the living room, which I'm assuming is here. I should probably open all the doors just in case, though. What was that? Okay. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> okay. This one says it must go to the bedroom, which is right here. Gotta keep moving boxes. Uh, this one says it must go to the bathroom. Alright, more boxes. 
And then I can get the, the freak out of here. This one must go to the dining room. This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. I really don't want to be going through his stuff. Ugh. There's a journal inside and some glasses. The Snoop, part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. Uh, part two. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. We'll just put that, yeah. Uh, dining room. There's no light in here. What's happening? Okay. Anyway. Bedroom. Kitchen. Gotta keep moving boxes. I just want to know why we're here in the middle of the night. Baby's bedroom. Gotta keep moving boxes. Uh, this doesn't say where to place. Where maybe I should open it? Oh god. Wedding rings. Okay. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all I've done for her, she had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it. But it was barking too loudly and it was really starting to piss me off. I don't know. I'm not one to give relationship advice or anything. But if you kill my dog, probably would have to leave. Uh, and it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Okay. Oh, he's psychotic. Oh. Uh, pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she just threatened to divorce me. The de uh, I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in the control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Ooh, you psycho. You psychopath. I have one more box. Baby's bedroom. Okay. We're going to attempt to... All that work made me thirsty. I should go to get something to drink before I leave. I would prefer just leaving... That'd be nice. I bet he won't mind if I take some of his juice. Time to go. You. Oh. This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. Oh, is this real? Freak, it smells horrible. The Vanishing Act Part 1. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I too was a victim. I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some other personal touches, and make it seem more to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I do not condone this behavior, it make, makes me feel powerful. So, are you saying... 
Uh, that's that drink was spiked. This door is locked. Oh, great. Okay. Guess I'll just keep trekking. happen oh great crap the lights are out I hope my phone's battery didn't die come on Ooh. oh good oh good oh good where's the phone <laughs> okay cool where's the phone was in here oh good ring ring uh, uh, hello? Oh. what okay you know what I'm just gonna keep going My fish is getting all weird. Hello, what do you want from me? Your job was just to move the damn boxes, not to open them. Okay, all right, and that was Peter's house. <laughs> that was really cool. I, I really hope I get to uh, check out more of these indie horror games because this was really well done. Bravo. I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Like this is originally what I wanted to do with the channel. So <laughs> this was really cool. Also a huge thank you to Rampant Actor. Uh, he was talking to me. He's been telling me to check out itch.io. I finally did. I saw this one uh, in the top trending and I was like, I, I should check one of these out. It was it was a good idea. Thank you. Again, friends, if you'd like to keep these daily uploads going, please help out the channel by hitting that subscribe button, hitting the like button, and leaving a comment. They all help. Also, if you'd like to be notified of future videos, please hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! You are watching.